Today in my Focus RS, I'm installing the Summit Big Front Lower 4-Point Brace. Okay, here it is then, the Summit Front Lower Big 4-Point Brace. So this is the biggest brace for the underside that we can get from Summit. And as you can see, um, as the name suggests, it is 4-Point, 1, 2, 3, 4. It has two horizontal members, so extra strength. It is pretty beefy. But as you will see, like a lot of the Summit braces, it is very, very light. I can move it around with no issue at all. And that is because it is made of aluminium. 6061 aluminium alloy, multiple layered. It's like tubular inside, forged, all good. And yeah, it's just gonna add a bunch of extra strength in the underside, specifically closer to the front. It will, of course, complement the other Summit braces that we have underneath the car already. In particular, it's just gonna sit in front of the one that we did the last time, which is the four point front middle brace. Um, so yeah, it's gonna just look absolutely fantastic. And again, also much like the last one that we did, Summit provide a little bag of hardware so that we can do the install. And in this particular instance, Summit actually provide three little bags, as you can see, um, for various cars, because um, this big four point brace is compatible with multiple different models. Um, so you can see there's a bag for um, Focus Mark II. So if you've got a Mark II RS, um, a, a diesel Focus, um, but the one that we're interested in obviously is this one, and because this is for the Focus Mark III, and flip it over, you can see we basically have a full set of brand new hardware um, in order to install this, so bolts, nuts, washers, the whole works. So that is awesome, obviously to do the install, we have to get the car up on the ramp, so we'll go and do that shortly, but first I am going to ceramic coat this as I have done before. Um, we do want to protect this lovely orange paint job that Summit provide us with. It's really nice and sparkly if you can get in close and see that. But yes, to do that, I'm going to be using G-Technic Wheel Armor C5. All right then, ceramic coating process, pretty simple. I have shown it before, so we'll just blast through it fairly quickly. Uh, but what we're gonna do first, we're going to prepare the surface of the paint with an alcohol swab. Just clean it up, make sure that there's no grime on there, make sure it's ready to receive our ceramic coating. And we get a few drops of that onto one of the provided applicators. Then we spread it around, and then we use our nice, clean, high quality, edgeless, microfiber just to remove any excess and then we'll leave that for a few hours and then we'll come back and I'll do a second layer and then that will be ready for installation. Alright then, under the car, the brace is going to be going down sort of around there, just it's going to start at the edge of the under tray, um, so it will be advantageous just to get the under tray off at this point. So, going to go around the edge, T30 Torx to remove all these Torx screws, and then we just need to be flathead to pop off the little clips that are like this. Alright then, with the under tray off, if you can see where I'm pointing right here, this is the bolt that we need to remove on this side. This We are actually replacing both sides of these bolts because this bolt goes through here and down through subframe and sort of finishes in this sort of hole area. The new one will be longer. It'll come out to maybe, I don't know, around here, something like that. And then we put our brace on and then we'll have some meat. We'll have something to actually get the nut onto. Um, so yes, we're replacing these. Now these are kind of awkward to get up in here at. I mean, this one's probably not 
too bad. Um, if we need to, we can take the boost pipes off and get a little bit more space. Uh, but the other one, the other one is a little bit tighter. Now these are torqued very highly from the factory. So you can see I've got um, this front bar here and I've got my breaker bar up and going in. So breaker bar, 15 mil socket. I've got it on that bolt right there. You can kind of see the angle that I'm having to go in at. Um, I've tried it from various different sides and this is the best one that I can come up with. Um, so yes, gonna loosen that, gonna remove that entirely and then get it replaced with the new summit bolts. All right, so then once it is broken, um, it's probably easier I think to use a 15 mil spanner um, just to just for ease of access really, because it is like this side in particular, the left hand side is a pretty tight space. It is pretty tight, so you'll want to get a few turns with your breaker bar before you move on to this. Right now it's almost out and I can just use my hand from this angle as you can see. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> That's it out. And then I'll just grab it. There we go. Here we are then out of the car. Might as well show you a side-by-side -side comparison. This is of course the bolt that we just removed, the big boy, and this is what we are replacing it with. So if I set them like right side by side, you can see we just get this extra length that we need to then attach, of course, our new brace plus the nut on the bottom. Now whenever we put this in, obviously this is going to go down through that subframe section that we just removed this from. Whenever you get them in the pack, this is how Summit suggests that it is done. So they suggest you put the big bolt down and through and then on the other end you use a washer, this sort of like black spacer thing that's going to sort of cap that hole in the subframe and then the nut. So one thing that I've noticed is you can see that this massive big bolt that we are replacing has this big sort of built in washer type of thing whereas we don't really have that kind of like surface area on our replacement. I don't have any specific extra bits in the Mark III bag that is provided. However, we do have these other bags like I showed you earlier um, for other Focus models. This one in particular that says uh, Ford Focus TDI. I'm going to grab a couple of these washers out and I'm going to put them just right here just so that we have that kind of like distribution that we um, would have been having with our stock bolt. So you can see there that just looks a bit more similar to what we just removed. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this bolt put in place. But before we jump back over there, just lining these up the surfaces of our washers here you can see where there was some Loctite blue right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Loctite blue and I am going to just put a dot right here just to mimic where the thread engagement was on our stock bolt and then we will get that tightened up in the car So I'm sure it's pretty difficult to see this sort of dark little space um, but you can see that I've lined up the bolt and I'm just turning it with my fingers initially um, so yeah just gonna get that down as far as I can with my fingers and then we'll move on to some tools okay so that's about as far as I can go with my hand so moving on to my spanner or wrench. Now one thing to note with the Summit replacement bolts, they require a 19 mil rather than the 15 mil. Right, there we go that's it tightened down basically just tightening that down as much as I possibly could and you can see we now have our bolts sticking right out and that allows us now to bolt up our new brace so yeah just have to repeat the exact same process on the other side to get it ready for the brace so yeah like this side is much easier because of this extra space uh, but yeah I mean I'm glad that I did the other one first because I like to do the harder things first because then it makes the rest plain sealing so yeah Right, there we are then, so that is both brand new bolts in place and tightened down nicely, so we are ready to move on. Okay, at this point I have gone ahead and put the under tray back on. You can leave this to the end or you can do it now, it doesn't really matter. Just uh, do whatever works for you. 
All right, then we're going to now get our brace loosely attached onto our brand new bolts that we have just got put in there. So the way this is going to work is we're going to take this little black washer thing that they gave us. One side is totally flat. Uh, one side has this intersection. We're just going to line up with a circle of this hole. So it's going to sort of sit up in there like that. So we're going to put that up there. Then we're going to get the brace on and then we're going to go washer and then one of these nice new nuts that they gave us. Okay then, so you'll have seen there that I used my socket then to just tighten them a little bit, not like super tight, just enough to hold it on there. And they use the same 19 mil size for those nuts that we use for our new bolts. Now, what that now enables us to do is to slide on back a bit. And we can see now exactly where the other two points are going to go. And therefore that shows us exactly where we need to cut the under tray back here. So obviously cutting the under tray, I've seen it done where people essentially cut a big sort of sausage shape out the length of the under tray along the sides of the brace. Um, but what I'm going to try and do, at least initially, is I'm going to try and just cut a circle around where our actual mounting point is, um, just to keep it a little bit cleaner. Um, and then if I really, really feel like I need to, I can just then continue to cut the sausage shape if I really want to uh, but yes so a uh, nice sharp knife just gonna cut around that and then we will need to then loosen the nuts again um, in order to get in there and remove the piece of hardware that's in there and replace it with some new hardware All right, so that is an approximate circle cut. So, I mean, you can obviously see the bolt that we need to remove, and hopefully then we can get everything fitted in there without having to remove any more material. But like I say, if it turns out that we do need to remove more, it's just gonna be the same process of using our knife to cut it out. It is a bit tougher than you might think. It's sort of like reinforced with plastic, um, but yeah, a good sharp knife will get through that. So yeah, let's get these two bolts out. Okay then, let's grab these out. They require a 13 mil socket. All right, then out of the car, I'm gonna do another wee side-by-side -side comparison. So, and this is one of those bolts that we just removed there. And this is one of our new replacement summit bolts. You can see then the length difference, which is accounting for our new brace. And also we required the use of these spacers, which are provided, um, they're very light, so they feel like aluminium. And then we also have washers. So of course the washers will go over that. So we're gonna go spacer, then brace, then washer and bolt up through and then get those tightened up on either side and they are a little bit bigger than the stock we require a 17 mil socket and i'm going to use a deep socket and like before i am going to use some thread locker blue just so that they don't loosen under vibration For torque then, I'm just going to torque all four to 80 newton meters. And with that, we are installation complete.
Well, there we go. That is the installation finished on our brand new Summit Four Point Big Brace, and I think it looks great. Installation wasn't too difficult. The only real difficult bits are those two big long replacement bolts, primarily because to get at them, to get them out, and then the replacements in, you have to get up into that really tight, awkward space, which is okay for your hands, but whenever it comes to like tools, it's quite kind of awkward. But once you get past that part, it's pretty plain sealing. Uh, I definitely think cutting that small circle as opposed to like a really big section out of that bit of under tray is definitely the way to go. It looks really nice and neat. So I am super happy with that. It's going to complement the other summit bits that we have and going to just work really well. I can just tell. Um, so yeah, I hope you like that and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content to come very, very soon. Thank you once again. Goodbye.